everybody, so today I'm here to share with you guys all about my experience of getting breast milk jewelry made. And before I start this or get into any of the details, I do have to say that this is one, a long story, and two, I would really appreciate it if you stuck all the way through. There's gonna be parts of the story where you think you know what's gonna happen, and I just would really appreciate it if you could just watch the whole video through. That way you don't draw any conclusions before I've said what I need to say. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess I should just go ahead and get started. The options out there are kind of endless at this point. There's a lot of different companies, Etsy shops, a whole bunch of different options out there as far as where you would like to get it made, how, like what kind of jewelry, all kinds of different stuff. But I really took my time. I have exclusively pumped with all three of my daughters. I had a bag of milk with Sophie, a bag of milk with Remy, and a bag of Lexi's milk. I kept them frozen in the freezer because I knew at some point I would like some jewelry made. But I was sure that I didn't want to spend money on something unless I absolutely loved it. Now, my oldest is seven, over seven years old, and my youngest is two. So I have had quite some time to think about this, and I just have never really found anything that spoke to me. I'm actually just going to scoot over because periodically there's going to be pictures that I want to show you guys and I'm just going to go ahead and put them over here. I also adjusted my camera a little bit to compensate for that. But anyways, if you've been around for a while, you know with me, I don't wear a lot of jewelry. The jewelry that I wear, I keep on a lot of the time and I don't really ever take things off. So for that reason, I did want some kind of fine jewelry as in like it was real gold, it was real stones, that kind of thing. So this is the Celestial crown ring from beyond the willow tree and about the stones that they use it does say that they ethically source and they are environmentally sustainable including the use of only ethically sourced genuine gemstones and use of recycled precious metals and it says every mine diamond we use complies with the kimberly process so that was really nice to see as well and this does retail for 1028 dollars and USD. With shipping and everything else, it ended up being around $1,260. So that's how much I paid for my ring. And there's a whole process and each process is different depending on what kind of jewelry you're getting made because they don't make just breast milk jewelry, but they do want you to send in some of your bagged milk. And with me being an international customer, there were some rules and stuff that I had to follow as far as like how to ship it and everything. I will say that if you order from them, those directions are really clear. And I had a couple of questions just just because obviously I've never done anything like this before. So I emailed them and they were really, really helpful and everything worked out really well with that. So what I decided to do was take those three bags of milk that I had from each of the girls, melt it down in a pot on my stove, and then that milk is the milk that I sent to them. And then I froze the rest of it that didn't need to be sent to them because I had three full bags of milk from each of them. So it melted down to be quite a bit of milk and they only need you know, a couple of ounces to make the jewelry that they're making. So I had a lot to spare and I put that back into my freezer. And whenever you ship your breast milk to them, it does not matter how long you've had it or the fact that it's going to be, you know, thawed and traveling. It doesn't matter because what they're going to do is dehydrate it and make it into a powder. So that's the reason why breast milk jewelry might not seem sanitary, but it is. The, the way that it's made allows it so it doesn't get rotten. It doesn't change colors. It doesn't like do anything weird like normal breast milk milk wood that's for consumption. So I had ordered it in the middle of January and then I had my milk shipped out by the end of January as well. So it was on its way to Australia. And from there, it varies on how many orders they have, their current turnaround process. Like it really just varies. And they do have a list where you can watch the progress of whatever jewelry is being made so you can kind of see where you are in the queue of customers. So that helped a lot, but obviously it does take some time. There is only one designer who is working on all the rings. It's Melanie, who I believe is the owner as well, and she takes her time making everybody's jewelry. So it is going to take some time. And with it being fine jewelry, I really don't mind the wait as long as it's worth it. So it was sometime in May, I had actually got the ring and I was very, very excited. I tried it on, I loved it. It looked exactly how I wanted it to. I forgot to mention this, but when ordering it, I did have some flex and shimmer put into it. I know it was opal, I can't really remember. I just asked for the same exact thing that was in the listing picture to be put into my milk. So it gave it kind of like an opal looking 
stone. So I was very happy with it and I was wearing it. The stone, my breast milk stone, had actually tilted inside of the setting. So you were able to kind of move it around on one side and obviously this is not good. So this is part of the story where I'm asking you to stick around because I am a firm believer in things happen and I will allow anybody to correct a situation and I don't want anybody like clicking off this video just because I'm saying that the experience wasn't perfect and not hearing me all the way out. So bear with me because trust me, I spent my own money, a lot of money. I have no reason to be anything other than honest. The stone tilted and I got a hold of them and they said how strange it was because this is just not something that happens with their rings and you know they asked me what I wanted to do and they were very accommodating. There was a few different options that they had given me basically either finding a jeweler here that could fix it and they would pay for that or I could have it shipped back to them and I just ended up sending the ring back to them because where I live in Ohio, it's very rural and I did not trust that someone would know how to work with this stone. I didn't want it to be ruined. I was just, I was like, she's the one who creates this jewelry. So I would rather have her expert hands on it than somebody around where I live who might not know what they're doing. So I did have to send it back, which takes time. That was the longest part of this. The process is not as fast as some people would expect. It can take six to 12 weeks to get your stuff. But when she's handcrafting fine jewelry, that's kind of what I expect, if not longer, if we're being honest. So I had it sent back and she worked on it and then it was sent back to me. And again, I was very excited for it. However, that was short-lived because it took even less time for the stone to do exactly the same thing and when I had let them know they gave me the same options again and I decided again just to send it back to them because of the same exact reasons although I was starting to get a little frustrated at this point I just wanted my ring I was just looking forward to something that I had bought and it was taking a lot of time not really on Melanie's end she does take her time making the jewelry you can tell the amount of work and time that she puts into it However, it was the shipping that took the most time. I live in the US, they're based in Australia, so I was an international customer. International mail moves a lot different than domestic mail, and it wasn't even on Australia's end because I did have tracking numbers for their post service, but USPS, we've just had a bit of a shipping problem here in the US ever since the pandemic started and USPS just always hasn't been the quickest. You never know what to expect with them. A little unpredictable. So you just kind of have to bear with it. And I was just getting a little frustrated with this whole process. I just kind of wanted it to be over so I could have my ring. They were very apologetic. They were very kind. They were nothing but gracious and wanted to fix the problem. There was never any kind of rudeness or anything at all that made me standoffish. Honestly, if they had been, I probably would have risked going to a local jeweler, but they were so kind and I just felt like it was the best idea to send it back to her again. So I did and they decided after looking at the ring to go ahead and do a whole new setting. And they were saying that they hoped that this would help deter any of the problems. And she took her time. She also mentioned that she wanted to create a couple extra pieces for me just because of everything that we've gone through and the length of time that it took to get me this ring that I had ordered and all the back and forth, which I was really appreciative of and I wasn't expecting at all, but it was very, very kind of her and I really appreciated it. At the beginning of November, she did ship it out to me and it took just a couple of weeks to get here. I think maybe not even a couple of weeks. It might've just been one, honestly. It was always faster returning to me than it was going to them. That's the longest it ever took. Whenever my ring would hit the Chicago International Distribution Center in the States, it would sit there for a month, if not longer on end. It was ridiculous. And that was me getting it out to them. I live in Ohio, so Chicago was the closest international uh, distribution center to me and it just took forever to get out of there. However, whenever it, the ring would come back from Australia, it would land in LA and within like a week's time, it would be in my post office. So it was much faster going through LA and coming from Australia and the way it moved in Australia, it was not nearly as long as going through Chicago. So there's nothing really you can do about that, but 
the time difference was just always crazy to me and the amount of times that we had to send things back and forth I just kind of got a feel and I wanted to mention it here just in case you live in one of those areas it might give you an idea time wise what to look at for shipping but yes so this time I got my ring and I have had it for a couple of weeks now and it's been perfect. There has been no issues with it. Before I show you the pieces, this is just why I've asked you to stick around because it is a small shop. Things happen. She wanted to fix the problem and she did. So I was hesitant. I didn't know how this would pan out and what kind of video, if any, that I would be making. But I did want to share this because I am very happy with my ring. And even though it took some time, I am perfectly happy with it and that is all that I wanted out of this was the ring that really symbolized something that was a big part of my life. Breastfeeding wasn't just breastfeeding to me. It gave me my whole job that I have here, my platform. It has brought so much more to me than I could have ever imagined and the whole experience is just something that is really close to my heart. So I wanted something to symbolize that and no matter how long it took, I was willing to wait. I mean, obviously it gets frustrating and tiresome and you wish that, you know, things go right on the first try, but that's not always the case and it's not their fault either. They were doing everything, but with getting a new setting and there being no issues with this stone or this setting at all, it makes me think that maybe something was wrong with that setting in that ring. So, I'm very happy with it and I will say that before I show you the pieces that I got, I would recommend their shop. Obviously, that's a lot of money. They offer a bunch of different jewelry at different price points. And if you are an international customer, just keep in mind the cost of shipping and, you know, the time length it might take to get back to you. Especially with USPS, I would just be expecting to wait quite a bit of time for things to leave the US and also to get back to you. So you might have actually noticed my ring in a couple of my older videos that I posted last week and the week before because I have been wearing it and I've been really happy with it. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So this is a look at the ring itself. Underneath here is actually my first wedding band. This is the one that Mark and I got married with, but he upgraded it for our 10 year anniversary. There is diamonds all around it and that is my milk with the flex and shimmer in the middle. And like I said, I did get yellow gold because that's what my wedding bands are in. That's just the material that I like is yellow gold. That's what I wear. And they do sit together really nicely. <laughs> trying to do everything in the viewfinder so it's like backwards and kind of confusing but that's how I wear it on my hand but I am just so happy with it and it just looks beautiful it's pretty dainty and I really like that so I am very happy with it it's a beautiful beautiful ring that's exactly what I was looking for and even though it took some time getting to me, I'm just thankful that it's here and it's beautiful. It's everything that I could have wanted. And I think it just looks amazing with my original wedding band over there. And then she also did make me a little pendant. This is a necklace that I've had for quite some time. It was a gift from my husband. It has a lot of sentimental meaning with the moon and the stars. And so she made this little yellow gold pendant that also has my milk, same flex, same shimmer and stuff. Right now my viewfinder it's coming up a little discolored. It might just be because of how dark it is in my house right now because it's really cloudy, but it is a perfect color. It's just kind of like an off-white and with the flex, it really does look kind of like an opal, but I love it and I didn't know how much I would like it here on my chain. I've never added anything to it, but I really enjoy it. So I've got a little bit of everything right there. And then one last piece that she made for me was this really dainty gold ring. And I would definitely probably wear this. Like if we were traveling, I'd probably leave this one at home and I'd take this one because it is really cute. It's really simple. And I will say as far as sizing goes, it was spot on. I had bought a little ring sizer off of Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys. It was only a few dollars, but I went ahead and I used it. I used it on this hand, which was the finger that I had planned on wearing it and it was perfect. It said I was an eight, so I ordered an eight and it fits me perfectly. Even with it being combined with another ring, it fits really well. So there was this dainty one and then there was this ring that I paid for and then also the little pendant. And she did also include two little ring holders. This one, which is wood, 
and then this one is a crystal. And I believe that they offer these on their website that you can add on, but it is like just such a beautiful little ring holder. And this is actually what I keep on my desk. So when I wanna take this off, I just set these on here and it's absolutely beautiful. The dainty ring and also the pendant came in like this little pouch and then in this box, it also has a cleaning cloth as well. And then my ring that I had ordered came into came in this box so it was just like a little felt pull out box and it was sitting down inside there so I just wanted to give you a look at everything like I said I wasn't expecting the extra stuff it is really appreciated though it's all very very gorgeous and I'm really thankful that I have something on my necklace now too I absolutely love this little pendant on there and it has all been amazing quality like I said I don't really take off my jewelry I, that's the reason why I like fine jewelry because I can wear it and I know that it's still not the best to keep it on all the time but that's how I do it or else I'm never gonna put it back on. I'm just one of those ones where I don't like to take things on and off because I'll forget about it and I'll never wear it. However, I do often use the ring holder that she sent, the crystal one, and then I also have a different ring holder in my kitchen. So like if I'm doing cooking or washing stuff, or cleaning, whatever it might be, I do take it off for that. Sometimes I also take it off if I'm sleeping just so my hands don't swell up and it gets uncomfortable in the middle of the night. Yes, it did take some time. Yes, there were some hiccups along the way, but at the end of the day, I got what I wanted. I got what I paid for. They made the situation right. They were a very kind team because there were a couple I was in communication with and they were amazing. So I would recommend them. And if you're international, just realize that it's going to add some time to the whole process but otherwise I think that's everything if you have any other questions you can leave them down in the comments below I'll do my best to answer them and if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and as always thanks for watching